Hi, I'm Oscar van Deventer and this is the Shift Cube. Uh, this is already the third physical prototype of Shift Cube and the sixth virtual prototype. And I'm uh, very happy to say that it works as I had hoped that it would work. So finally, success. Uh, the problem with the previous version of Shift Cube is that when you try to turn it like this, it fell apart and the pieces came out. So what you can see now is that it's quite rugged and uh, it stays uh, together. And let me first show you the shift uh, moves. You see the, it shifts uh, up and down like this. And after you make a, after you make a turn, you can do, still do a shift move. And uh, other than the shift move, you have also this type of move. And I'm going to ask you uh, my uh, usual question midway this uh, video. My question to you is, uh, when I make this move, the outer parts, they don't move. And my question to you is, uh, why is that? Okay, let me continue uh, showing uh, the demonstration of this puzzle. So we have uh, this state in which we can make this type of turn. And we have also the shift state in which uh, it turns like a 2x2 two two Rubik's Cube. But it not only turns like a 2x2, two two, actually it turns like a 2x2x4. Two by, two by so, here's another move. And we can also move this end. There we are. So, and it also uh, gets, uh, well, let's do another shift move just for the fun of it and now we are going to scramble it like a 2x2 two two Rubik's Cube so you see that uh, this is a quite uh, versatile puzzle and I'm also going to show you how the mechanism works and for that uh, I have to break the seal uh, this is a special piece um, which has been uh, glued on top and I'm now breaking the glue and there you are and this is one piece and now I'm going to take it apart. Okay, now we have the puzzle apart. And here you see the core. And the basic uh, of the core is this part shifting up and down like that. And when you have this piece here, it's locked in place such that it can move only this far and go back. And uh, I mentioned that previous uh, prototypes had failed, so uh, I'm going to show you uh, the trick that I used against this failure, and that is this little notch. And all the pieces, they now have a groove that you see here. And the groove and the notches, they go into each other let me show you this, like that. So now the piece is kept in place by the notches and the knob. So here you are and you see that uh, it uh, sort of stays in place and it doesn't want to uh, turn away again. I hope uh, that uh, this was clear to you. Thank you for watching.